Introducing Chromabox, Coprint's latest innovation for Marlin-based 3D printers. The built-in screen displays your system's IP address for quick mainsail access, shows the current time, great for time-lapse videos, and gives real-time feedback for actions like restarts and errors. Despite its affordable price, Chromabox delivers powerful performance, featuring a 1.9 GHz quad-core processor, 2 GB of RAM, and 16 GB of storage. It ensures a smooth, lag-free clipper experience. It's fully integrated with mainsail. Control your printer from any device, access macros, and custom settings. No extra setup needed. Now let's take a closer look at the device before installation. First, we remove the stock print head by unscrewing the front cover and taking it off. Next, we unscrew the plastic piece holding the print head cable, remove it, and release the latches to disconnect the cable. Now, we remove the extruder motor by unscrewing its mounting screws. We disconnect the extrusion motor and bed leveling sensor cables to fully detach them from the print head. Next, we unscrew the hot end, disconnect its connectors, and remove it completely. We then unplug the fan cable and take off the front cover. To access the print headboard, we unscrew it and set it aside for later use. Before removing the print head bracket, we loosen the belts. We then remove the print head assembly by unscrewing the wheels and detaching the belt connections. Now, we install the custom mounting part designed for the Ender 3 V3 SE to accommodate the chroma head. We start by positioning the belts, securing the wheels with screws, and attaching the adjustment screw to the lower wheel before tightening all the screws. After this, we tighten the belts again and secure the wheel adjustment screw. Since the X-axis sensor is located on the print headboard, we must relocate it using a custom design mount and attach it to the side of the printer. We screw the print headboard onto the mounting bracket and secure the piece to the side of the machine. Now, we connect the motor cable, 
attach the print headboard cable, and fasten the latches to secure it. Next, we remove the front cover of the chroma head and unplug the fan cable. To install the chroma head, we insert square nuts into the designated slots and secure them with screws. Now, we connect the print head cable and fasten its screws. We reconnect the fan cable, close the front cover, and install the 8-in-1 module onto the print head. Let's begin by mounting the extruder block holder onto the printer and tightening the screws. Now connect the motor cables to the extruders. Plug the other ends of the motor cables into the KCM module. Then, connect the chroma head cable. Make sure the KCM is powered off during this step. Insert the PTFE tubes into both the extruders and the 8-in-1 module. Now, let's set up the chroma box. First, we need to connect the chroma box to the internet. On your computer, create a new text file and rename it to wifi.cfg. Enter your Wi-Fi name and password into the file. Save the file and copy it to a USB flash drive. Insert the flash drive into the Chroma box and wait for it to connect to your network. Once connected, use the IP address shown on the screen to access Mainsail in your browser. Now it's time to flash the printer. Remove the SD card from your printer and insert it into your computer. Download the correct .bin firmware file from GitHub. You'll find the link in the my video description. Rename the file to firmware.bin Then copy it to the SD card and reinsert it into your printer. Once the KCM and Chroma Box connections are complete, plug in the printer's power cable and wait for it to finish flashing. Now, connect your printer to the Chroma Box. Download the necessary configuration files from GitHub.
and upload them to the machine section in Mainsail. Then open the Chroma Bahabric head.cfg file and set the correct serial path for the Chroma head. Open kcm.cfg and set the kcm serial path. Finally go to printer.cfg and enter the serial path for the printer itself. You can now access the mainsail dashboard. Let's launch Orca Slicer and load the model. Set the IP address of the printer. Use the printer.cfg file to check the correct bed size and apply it in your slicer. Arrange your models on the build plate. You can also print the purge tower as a functional model if you wish. Once slicing is complete, start the print. This print was completed on the Creality Ender 3V3SE using the Chroma Box and KCM set in 10 hours and 27 minutes. And here's the final result. As you can see, the last layer is the purge tower, proving you can print functional models with minimal purge waste. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our channel for more videos.